Welcome to the Blue Room Live Block. This is a live forum where 25 artists, Perth theatre artists, have been invited to share their view on live arts and theatre in Perth. Tonight's vlogger is the fabulous Sam Longley. Yeah. Hello. Hi, hello. Um, so I'm, I'm going to speak loudly just in case the, the microphone isn't working. Ren, do we have a, like a, a microphone level or anything? Just check, because we didn't do a microphone check. So if you're watching this at home on your computer, you're probably bored right now. I'll try and do something a little more entertaining in a little while. I have no idea. That sound? Oh, that's not my voice at all. <laughs> I'm going to write a little secret. That's not really my voice. Um, all right, so, uh, live blog, uh, Sam Longley, uh, take one. Uh, there will only be one take, but I just like to say that beforehand makes me feel a little bit more professional. Um, look, first up, uh, thank you so much, Blue Room, for uh, uh, inviting me along to blog. Um, I feel honoured to be uh, joining the 25 bloggers. Uh, came before me, Jeff Kelso and Jenny Davis, two of the greats in the Perth theatre scene. So, yeah, I was, I was surprised and honoured to be asked to do it. Um, so here I am. Anyway, uh, look, I watched the two blogs previous, and I said to myself, Sam, those two people are, are old school theatre, uh, the trained actors with eloquence and, and, you know, a sense of understanding the theatre industry, whereas I'm just <laughs> an upstart, seven foot of upstart, but seven foot none, upstart nonetheless. So I've written my notes um, on the back of beer coasters, uh, and I'll get to this point of why on the back of beer coasters a little bit later on, but rather than uh, a whole scripted thing, I'm just going to kind of go off notes, so you guys at home, you can work along with me here. It starts at the top with thanks and honoured, I think I've covered that. Um, join the ranks of Jenny, Davis and Jim. Great, okay, so we've done that bit. Uh, my next bit is really, um, I worry about blogs. I, I, I fear for the internet being clogged up with negativity, with people going, I now have a forum I never had before to be a complete bitch. And so this is what sucks about the world. And look, people on the internet are looking at me. So um, just in case, this is what happens with the Blue Room Live blog thing, and I don't think it will, but just in case, I'm going to do my blog on what I think is really good about the Perth art scene. Um, and there's a, half a dozen of them in the room right now. You guys are great. Um, so that's, that's where I start. Um, now, I don't want uh, you to think that Jeff and Jenny uh, are negative. In fact, I think uh, they're two of the people, two of the reasons why I love being um, an artist in Perth. Now, Jeff Kelso did go on a little bit of a, a rant, let's call it that, about the bureaucracy and what it takes to get funding and the forms you have to fill out and how hard it is and they don't listen to us anyway and, and poor artists and bureaucracy sucks. And I agree with you, Jeff, bureaucracy sucks. Um, but I thought what was beautiful about it is he said, you know, we shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, participate in bureaucracy and forums unless we get paid. And Jeff did his rant, uh, live blog, um, for 10 minutes, uh, which was more than any form he's ever filled out, and he did it for beer and theatre <laughs> tickets. So yes, he kept up his, his pride, he didn't, he didn't do it unpaid, but he did it for beer and theatre tickets. Now DCA, if you're watching, I do not want to be paid solely in beer and theatre tickets, but look, throw me a carton every once in a while and it goes a long way. Uh, now Jenny Davis, um, she also, she, she had a moment where she reminisced about the way the theatre uh, scene used to be, and back in my day, and I went to school in the 60s, and it was lovely. Um, and, you know, there used to be, there used to be a lot more uh, funding, uh, we used to do a lot more productions, bigger casts, and oh, it was, you know, it was better back then. Um, but she's the kind of person who, instead of just bitching and moaning, she went, so uh, I'm going to progress like the rest of the theatre world has, and she went out and started her own company doing AgeLink, and instead of being one of the people that holds the Perth art scene back, instead she helped forward it. So when I say, why do I uh, like being an artist in Perth, it's because those people, those people who have been around for a long time, rather than getting stuck in the mud, they just keep doing it, and they do it with a smile on their face. Um, and that's basically my point, is uh, I believe artists in Perth, however much we bitch and moan, and particularly actors we bitch and we moan, we bitch when we're out of work, we moan when we're in work, um, <laughs> it's just what we do, we're trained at it. Uh, yeah, keep looking at the time clock, I'm way off my notes now, Ren. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's those people and that, that, that whole environment that makes me uh, enjoy being an artist in Perth. All right, uh, I love it, reason one. Um, it's vibrant and independent. Uh, the vibrant independent art scene in Perth, I think, is huge. Currently doing a show with Barking Gecko, uh, who's had their funding cut, but they're still doing the show. We've got a director over from Queensland, who then moved to Melbourne, and she's over here and she is stunned at how much 
theatre happens in Perth and how well it's funded and how well supported it is. Um, we could do with more funding and beer and theatre tickets, uh, but still she was, she was loving the fact that so much happened. Um, the Blue Room, I think, is the greatest example. Yes, Chances, I'm talking about you guys. The Blue Room is a great example of how many, how many shows get up, how many young artists create brand new works, or established artists try out new stuff, and instead of there being nowhere to do it, or having to travel to Adelaide and Sydney for fringe festivals, uh, we get to do it in our hometown with our home audiences. Ask any comedian who's been to the Melbourne uh, Comedy Festival or any actor who's been to Melbourne Fringe, I'll tell you how hard it is, but instead uh, we create our own stuff here in Perth. It is vibrant, it's growing, there's all kinds of great stuff. Anyone who says there's nothing to do in Perth doesn't go out to the theatre often enough. That's what I reckon anyway. Uh, and festivals. <laughs> Hasn't Perth got festivals for everything? They've got like the 18th of March festival up in Joondala. And you know, you, if you wanted to do a show every week, during the summer months, which let's face it, are nine out of our 12 months in Perth, you could do a festival every month. So if there's actors and artists out there bitching and moaning, and that's what you do best, um, except for your art, just go and pick a festival. Um, there's lots of them. I'm like doing three in the next month. I love it. Uh, also, uh, venues. We've got heaps of venues. I'm staring at Pika, an established venue, old, beautiful architecture, great venue, and a soon-to-be state theatre centre, which I'm sure will be a great venue out of my price range, but a great venue nonetheless. And I'm sitting in the Blue Room Theatre, and that's in, it's in one city block. So we've got all kinds of venues. We've got the Brass Monkey, the Charles Hotel, Lazy Susan's doing comedy. We've got Subiaco's got stuff down there, like the Regal, where you can go and see any pantomime you've ever wanted to see. Like, there's just heaps of stuff. Um, moving right along. What I, the other thing I love about Perth is there is consistent professional work. Uh, if you're a professional actor, you may not be consistently working, but the work is there consistently. Uh, and your professional... <laughs> what, Ren? Uh, those professional companies provide constant work, which means... and constant theatre, which means that the, the people who want to go and see theatre have to go and... Well, don't have to, but can go and see stuff that is consistently good. And we get paid well for that. I like that. Um, they keep audiences coming back, they provide an income. Um, what I think we need to do is we need to improve our audiences. Uh, Theatre audience, they say, is like 5% of the population at most. Uh, I think as, as artists in WA, we need to grow that. We need to find a way. Yes, television has squeezed us out. Yes, film has squeezed us out. Yes, kite surfing has squeezed us out. I don't know why. It has. We need to find a way to uh, get to those people who don't leave their house to come and see independent theatre because they're scared that it has male nudity in it. We need to maybe male nude kite surfing. There you go. As a reality TV show on the big screen. I've solved it. There you go. Somebody write that down. Um, so we need to find a way to grow our audiences. I think this live blog is a classic example. I was watching Jeff's the other day and um, 65 hits. That's a full house at the, the Blue Room main, main space. So it works. Um, oh, we need more funding. Uh, except for live statues. If I see one more person painted silver thinking they're doing art, then I will puke. That's a promise. Thanks very much for watching. Um, come and see the Blue Room. Uh, 25 summer days. Rockin'.